Let's begin. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Donald Trump. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What is one reason colonists came to America? Religious freedom. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Michael Pence. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Religion. Who makes federal laws? Congress. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Separation of powers. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? 
Liberty, pursuit of happiness. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Name two national U.S. holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Emancipation Proclamation. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? C Civil Rights Movement. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who was the first president? George Washington. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. What are two cabinet-level positions? Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of Education. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Join a civic group. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Who vetoes bills? The President. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. 
What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Serve on a jury. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. We elect a U.S. senator for how many years? Six. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech. What is the political party of the president now? The Republican Party. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. does not have a governor. We elect a president for how many years? Four. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner. Also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representatives in Congress. Who is one of your state's U.S. senators now? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents and residents of U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where the applicant lives has no U.S. senators. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. District of Columbia residents should answer that D.C. is not a state and does not have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories should name the capital of that territory. Don't forget to like, comment, or share this video.